Lesson 9, Using Report Server Security Reporting services uses role-based security to allow individual users or groups of users to perform specific activities. In a role-based security system, roles are used to establish groups of activities based on the functional needs of users. For example, some reporting services users only need to view reports, so all activities that relate to viewing items on the report server are organized into a predefined role. Similarly, other users need to be able to publish reports, so activities related to viewing, publishing, and managing reports are organized into another predefined role. Part 1, Creating System Users Open Control Panel and then click Users. Create two accounts. Part 2, Creating SQL Logins. Open SQL Server Management Studio and create two users. Give the appropriate permissions. Part 3, Add a Browser Role Assignment Run Browser as Reporting User and Open Report Manager At this moment Reporting User does not have any permission Run Browser as Administrator and Open Report Manager. Click the Properties tab. Then click New Role Assignment on the Report Manager toolbar. In the Group or Username box, type Reporting User. Then select the Browser role. Click OK. Run Browser as Reporting User and Open Report Manager. Now the Reporting User group has access to all folders and reports, because each folder nested under the Home folder inherits the security properties of the Home folder.
Part 4, Add a Content Manager Role Assignment. Run Browser as Reporting Admin and Open Report Manager. At this moment, Reporting Admin does not have any permission. Run Browser as Administrator and Open Report Manager. Click the Properties tab. Then click New Role Assignment on the Report Manager toolbar. In the group or username box, type Reporting Admin. Then select the Content Manager role. Click OK. Run Browser as Reporting Admin and open Report Manager. Now the reporting admin group can perform any task assigned to the content manager role for any folder and its contents on the report server. Part 5, Applying Item Security. When you apply security to a folder, the items within that folder and its nested folders inherit the same security settings. If you take away the ability to view a report or other item, the user will not even see that item on the contents page. Whenever possible, organize content by folder so you can take advantage of this functionality and also minimize the administrative overhead of managing security for individual items. To handle exceptions to the rule, you can override security on individual items by adding role assignments to reports, resources, or data sources. After choosing to override security on an item, you'll have the option to restore the parent folder security settings when needed. Run Browser as Administrator and Open Report Manager. Click the second report folder and then the Properties tab. Click the Security link. Select the Reporting User group and click Delete. Click OK. Run Browser as Reporting User and Open Report Manager. Notice that the second report folder is not visible to the reporting user. Part 6, Applying System Security. Run Browser as Administrator and Open Report Manager. Click the Site Settings link. Click the Security link. Click New Role Assignment, type Group Name, select System Role and click OK. Do you want to learn new skills in the fastest and most effective way? Visit Learn with Video Tutorials.com.